Rhino 3D is an incredible program for creating anything you want uh, from architecture to automobiles and the program is set up uh, from start to bottom with um, a lot of tools that help you accomplish these goals. And so here's the interface for Rhino. This is Rhino 7 commercial. Um, you uh, will see that there's a menu bar for working with the different type of materials uh, for transforming um, different tools, rendering, um, also your help command, and of course some annotation. And this is of course basic. Uh, we have our command line, which is similar to a few other CAD programs we could be putting in the um, command that's being done. Uh, then we'll look uh, below here is a bit of a tab menu for uh, different types of working um, for either working on selecting, working on creation, and we're gonna go into that, each one of these. And then to the right-hand side, we'll see the properties for things that are happening in the window. Uh, these four divisions being the window. Uh, I have it here now at top, front, right, and perspective. Uh, but you could change those up. And then to the left, you will see the uh, little commands that are typical for working with your Rhino project. And at the bottom, you'll see uh, the selection for the different windows um, in the middle. And at, and at the bottom, bottom is uh, the O snap command, but also location about your axis, uh, your coordinates within the, the model at each window. And then you'll also see um, different uh, options and uh, also information about the CPU usage. I am the studio is glad to bring in this episode from our complete Rhino guide series. If you enjoyed this content, give the video a like and subscribe to the I am studio channel and click the bell for the latest notifications. For a link to our latest complete Rhino guide course, see the links in the description below. See you in the next episode.